beautiful people and uh, welcome again uh, to our youtube channel my name is joe so today's story is not something new it's something i've talked about but it is a continuation you can call it an update of uh, the previous story that i that i did about how i was almost conned uh, 35,000 kenyan shilling and i've been receiving many comments and um, some involving stories of how people have been conned as well and uh, some of how people are almost conned and some of advices what to do uh, to avoid such instances so i've decided to do this story as an update and uh, also talk about three things in particular the are four so three things in particular number one i'm going to talk about how to identify if you're dealing with a con number two i am going to talk about the new way they have devised on how to steal money from you and uh, the third thing i'm going to mention how you can uh, get legit things the way you need so let me begin with the continuation of the story from where i left so if you haven't watched the full story just go back and uh, search for i almost lost 35k that's the title of the video it's there on youtube and you can watch it so that you understand the story and we continue so i have left the place and i have come back home in my mind i'm thinking so many things and i'm thinking maybe i should have given these people benefit of doubt however i'm not willing to send my money to them until i can uh, confirm but at this point my mind is telling me 90 percent or 95 percent they are cons or scammers so I continue engaging this person. Now we are talking on uh, on uh, on text uh, because I can no longer call. Uh, the last time we spoke on phone, the person informs me that uh, the boss has refused. I have to send the money because that was their biggest issue. They were keeping, uh, they were insisting that I have to send the money before they could dispatch the goods. But at this point, I don't trust them. So I ask the person out of curiosity because i just want to make sure that um, my first instinct is right but that i'm not judging these people wrongly one way i know how i can do that is if they have a pay bill because the person tells me they have a pay bill if they have a pay bill number i can see if they're legit or not do you know that um, if you send money via a pay bill number a pay bill number with safaricom you can complain if you don't get your goods and safaricom can return your money and that is one of the way to know if they're legit or not so i is uh, because the person tells me i uh, we have a pay bill number with safaricom you just the, make the payment we can dispatch the good for those who have not seen the first story the good was a uh, six banner cooker which goes for about 55,000 to 65,000 but they were selling at 35,000. So I asked the person if I wanted to send the money where can I send? He tells me yes we have a pay bill number let me send you uh, so that you can have a look. And I'm thinking if it's a legit pay bill number chances are these people are legit. This is what this person does. He sends me a text message with a pay bill number of 255255 you people i want you to uh, to to remember this number uh, because i am going to talk about it much much later it is very important that you understand so they send me 255255 and uh, with another number now that's the pay bill number and then when you use pay bill number you must have an account number they send me another account number, but this one is a very big one. Normally, um, if it's a business, you expect it to be a name, but it can also be a number. But then when it is a number, 
that means that money is going to an account either um a bank account or a phone account so the uh, the number starts with 255 and i'm gonna leave it at that so that i'm going to talk about it later on when i'm uh, talking about the other stuff so at this point i look at these numbers and i confirm that the people are cons they were trying to scam me out of my 35,000 and that was the end of my engagement with them and I have since not maintained any contact with them whatsoever. Now let me get back to my three lessons the way I wanted to talk to you about. And I said I'm going to talk about three items how to identify if you are dealing with a scammer online. These people they will have a, an Instagram page and in that Instagram page, they give you all the details, everything, including a web page. Now, one thing you're going to realize or one thing you should think about, these people always have offers, but they never say, you know, you cannot be running a business with an all year round offer. What do I mean by that? If you know they're selling a product that goes for about 50000 the cheapest person can go maybe 2,000 below, not 5,000, not even 10,000. But you'll find with these people, the difference between the real thing and uh, what they're selling is almost 20,000. So one way of, the, uh, of knowing if you're dealing with a scammer is that they will always be way cheaper cheaper the deal will always be too good to be true you will find there's a difference of 10,000 15,000 or 20,000 and this one can run across it does not have to be a product it can also be a house it can also be what can I say uh, those rental houses you find that it's in a very good places very looking nice but it's super cheap I'm not saying you cannot find houses which are cheap like that but you always be a better deal for the place you are looking at so that's one of the thing so if you ever find someone selling something super cheap always be on high alert i'm not saying people cannot have offers but i don't see why you should have you're a third you are a distributor i don't see why you should have offers cheaper than a manufacturer themselves because even manufacturers have offers but um you, you cannot they don't go that low so that's one of the way secondly you will notice that uh, on this instagram page some photos are super descriptive others are not but one thing they all have in common the comment section is always deactivated if i'm running a business i'll always want to have my comment section on so that i can engage clients one way client communicate with people is through comments and i want to engage them so if i'm running a business i'm going to have my comments on at all time now when you move to the website or even on the whatsapp they're going to give you um location you will always find most time than not that uh, these locations are somewhere you don't expect such kind of business to be for example, someone will tell you, uh, I'm selling these things cheaply. When you call them and ask why do you have uh, them so cheap, they tell you, uh, I'm selling them cheaply because one, we have an offer, or number two, we are a wholesale. And uh, with a wholesale, you expect to see a warehouse. There's no way you can be selling fridges and TVs and uh, gas cookers without a warehouse. You cannot be an online warehouse. It is impossible. So you'll expect these pieces to be somewhere people can go and look at. All right. So you'll find that uh, they are in very, very funny places. Like someone will put Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's for you to figure out. So how can you figure out? Always take yourself to this place, especially if the deal is too good to be true. 
and if they refuse for uh, you to go to the location and insist that you must be because one thing they will say is you must be uh since you are wholesale you must be buying a uh, large quantity of product trust you me i've been to these warehouses where um, producers have them and even if they sell them at wholesale they also allow you to go there and the best place to see you can go along mombasa road there's a very very fantastic uh, warehouse there operated by ramtons i've walked in and i've checked their deals and you can actually buy your product and live with it from there so i don't see why those people can be having such a warehouse and allow you to go there and buy a single item even if it's a iron uh, and and these other people are not letting you go see a fridge you want to buy so that's the best way to mitigate this kind of situation always walk into these warehouses and insist to check on the things yourself another thing you should be looking out for is that when you click on the website the website is they are almost the same all of them what it does is just like the instagram page it gives you product with the prices and then when you go at the bottom it talks about reviews you'll never find more than three reviews they're always the same and if you look at the writing and the tone you can almost tell it's the same person who has done the review and it's always that um it's always like um oh you are so what is it you are so reliable quality product best price timely delivery you find that uh, that kind of comment positive only positive but trust you me i've been um, to many websites and i've seen uh, of of legit manufacturers and i have seen both positive and negative comments and you'll find that this uh, this website always have like three and then it's someone from uh, Eldoret, another one is from Nakuru, another one from Nairobi. They make sure it's distribu uh, distributed all across. But this is the funny thing. The comments are from Kenya, but these people will tend to claim they are universal. Uh, they operate within East Africa. And East Africa is uh, comprised of several countries. And they will say we distribute a lot of merchandise across east africa uh, we have a large base of uh, clients which is okay and uh, fair enough but they will tell you they operate east africa because this is part of their drill on how to scam you and this one comes into play when it comes to paying and uh, that takes me to my second segment that i wanted to talk about when it comes to paying <clears throat> most legit businesses will have legit pay bill numbers this is a number that is assigned to a particular um, company or a shop and it allows you to send money to the account using the safaricom pay bill number and Safaricom can at any time freeze this account if you report fraud. So if businesses have legit payable numbers, then you can sort of trust them because even if they don't deliver your product within 24 hours, um, you can always talk to uh, Safaricom and they can uh, give your money back because I don't see why someone will open a pay bill number uh, just to call one person and then close because it's a lot of work. So they will always have, trust me, they'll always have money in there. And if you complain timely, they can always pay you back. So what these people will tend to do is pretend as if they have a pay bill number or they do not have a pay bill number. And you remember the number I told you to uh, to cram, the two five five two five five. Now let me educate you if you don't know about this. Safaricom has been making stride in uh, broadening its Mpesa services all across Africa, and they got into this deal 
with Tanzania where it allows you as a Kenyan to send money to Tanzania. But how do you do this? You don't send direct like send money and then you input the number, the phone number. What they did is they provided a pay bill number 255255 where if you put in uh, this pay bill number 255255 and then under account you put the number of the person with the Tanzanian line that you want to send the money. And Tanzania, the way Kenyan code is 254, Tanzania is 255. So their account number will always be starting with 255 and then something else. That's a phone number, my friend. You are sending this money not to a company, but you're sending it to a person. So if you're not aware of this product that Safaricom has, you'll be thinking 255, 255 is... Uh, they are paid it is not you'll find that uh, if you have sent ma some someone money from your account to a bank you'll find a certain bank has been assigned a payment number and then if you want it to go to a certain account you put in the account number It's the same thing but this one the pay bill does not belong to someone this one is a safaricom payment number assigned to tanzania so that one is a tanzanian pay bill number and then you input the account number now is the phone number if you do that you'll be sending money to someone in tanzania a phone number and trust you me that money is gone you cannot go to these people and tell them i sent this money to you because it's not going to bring you these people's uh, name you see with a payable number you can send and it's going to bring name and you can go to safaricom and say i sent to this payable number but this other one it goes to someone's phone and they can withdraw it so this person thought i was ignorant to this fact and they sent me that payable number and a phone number and then i asked him why are you sending me someone's phone number to send them i thought you said you have a payment number they're like oh no 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 this is our payment number and that's our account i told them no this is not account number this is a phone number that belongs to tanzania it was a done deal i've uh, called them out and that's it so anytime you're buying something and they give you a payment number 255 255 forget about that transaction don't do it don't do it You'll be sending money to someone in tanzania have i have i educated you all right so <laughs> unless it's a legit pay bill number if you are paying before you get your goods but i encourage you wait for your goods delivered to be delivered and pay later or take yourself to this shop and uh, get your goods now I told you that uh, Joy is a professional shop, online shop, and she has been doing a lot of shopping and uh, online shopping, and her goods have been delivered. She normally shops from Jumia, and I have seen their services. I've also ordered some things from Jumia, and I and I can commend them. I will put a link under the description where you can get whatever since uh, whatever you need i've been doing uh, most videos and i've been putting uh, for those who need baby product things i've been putting the link that takes you straight to the baby product items um whenever i do a video like this one i did about it was about electronic i put a link that takes you to electronic uh uh whatever what is it called page where you can shop anything you need with these guys i'm going but for the purpose of this video i'm going to put a link that just takes you to the website direct generally and then you can search whatever you want to buy there this is one of the online uh, shops that i can comment because i have seen their services of course i'm sure some of you have their own reservation maybe an experience you can put it in the comment section but 
of all the online shops I can tell you or websites I can tell you to shop at, this is one. If I had another one at, in the mind, I could have advised you to go there. This is for people who love to shop online and their delivery service is timely and it's cheap. But if you don't like shopping online, you can always take yourself to where you want to buy the product. So just uh, make sure to check the description or the link in the description. That's where I'm going to post it and then you can look for whatever you want. And they have these amazing deals. Like for example, um, when I did the video about the baby crib, I bought it for about 15900 Right now they are saying at 12000 So that's uh, about 3900 uh, of saving. So under so many other um, offers they have, you can always go there and make hay where the sun shines. What I mean is by this is take advantage of the offers before they run out. I hope I have communicated. I hope I have helped someone. Uh, because the reason why I've talked about Jumia and the and the putting the link there, there's a lady who told me that she works out outside. And she wanted to buy some item for the family as a gift. But uh, she was scared after I told my story of being scammed and she wanted to do it when she comes. She can always buy through these people and they're going to deliver. You don't have to wait until you come from uh, Dubai or uh, uh, UAE, wherever you are at, to buy your family a gift. Because of few cons who are there, you can just use this link and uh, put the description there and they are going to deliver your goods to the day uh, to the address that you asked them to that's the reason why i have done this final part so don't be afraid shop online uh, shop online but uh, shop to from the people you uh, trust and the good thing is you can pay on delivery uh, but you have to be there uh, unless no, you want to pay first hand. Anyway, that's it, my people. Let me know in the comment section whether this video has been informative enough, uh, what your experience is, and uh, what you do want to know more when uh, it comes to these kind of things. Until next time, we love you guys. This is why we do what we do, because of you. So don't forget to share this video if you feel like uh, someone can benefit from it. Otherwise, that it from me. Adios until next time. Take care and uh, God bless you. Mm -hmm.